Hey guys, Steve Maxwell again with Funtown RV. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Cedar Creek 311 RL. Let's go take a look. Over here on the front of this Cedar Creek, we are going to have the standard Rhino box pin box. So that's going to be a specific setup for the hitch in your truck. The large storage area right behind the hitch gives you plenty of storage for any roadside assistance gear, jacks, any other equipment you're going to need. Underneath the off-door slide, you are going to have an access panel for your Libert Electric Auto Level. Moving along the door side of this camper, the first component we're going to see is your leash latch. So that is going to be an area for you to tie up leashes for your pets, dogs or cats, whatever you like to bring on your camping trip. Behind that, we are going to have the door for the propane bottles. This camper is going to have both bottles on the door side, so keep them all in one area, really easy to manage. Behind that, a very large, very tall pass-through storage area. This is going to have access to your TV connections, power, and your road back system that also connects underneath the stairs inside. Behind the door, we are going to have more household plugs on the exterior. Use them for grills, heaters, whatever you're going to need. Right behind these plugs, you are going to have a spray port that is going to connect to a hose that comes with the camper. It's going to be like a household water hose. Right above your spray port, you are going to have your waterproof Jensen speaker. You are going to have two up on the front portion of this camper. It's going to keep them low down, keep all of your music and sound close to your campground. Moving back, we do have the step above steps with this Cedar Creek branding on them. And this Cedar Creek is riding on tires with the TST tire pressure sensor system on it and the Dexter axles. A backup camera already installed with the screen inside that you can put in your truck. Another nice feature on this Cedar Creek is you're gonna have the ladder pre-installed, not gonna have to try to get a ladder to bring with you on your trip to clean off the roof of this camper. And underneath that, we do have a hitch down low on this Cedar Creek. This hitch is not meant for towing. This hitch is meant for bike racks, any kind of cargo equipment you can bring with you. Moving on to the off door side, not much going on on this slide. You do have a vent cover for your vent the hood in the kitchen right up there. And moving down here, we do have our propane and electric water heater right down here. More access to the pass through where you do have your power cord reel and your water closet. Right in front of the pass-through, you are going to have an area for storage of your battery and the hydraulic controls for the slides. Seeing the outside of this Cedar Creek, let's go ahead and take a step inside. All right, guys, right inside this Cedar Creek, we are going to have access to our control panel. This is going to be the Lippert touchscreen control panel that gives you all the offerings for the tank levels, battery levels, AC controls and light controls. And you can go through all the options. Control HVAC, control lighting, and also controlling slides and awnings. Right below that, we are going to have the controller for the solar panels on this camper. It's going to show you the amount of power that the solar panels are pulling currently. All right, this Cedar Creek is going to have a freestanding dining table. It is going to come with two standard chairs and two folding chairs. It does also have an extending leaflet that comes out of the bottom. Lure recliners in a light leather. And next to that, you are going to have the same color in a pull-out bed couch. That's going to give you plenty of space, plenty of sleeping area. The entertainment center in this Cedar Creek is going to have a large Insigna TV on top of its own entertainment area. Underneath, you're going to have a IRV radio with Bluetooth and CD and DVD capability. Underneath that, we are going to have our electric 12 volt fireplace. The kitchen in this Cedar Creek is gonna have solid surface countertops and a really nice marble finish. These are really nice, really easy to clean, really hard to damage. Nice accent to have in the kitchen in the Cedar Creek. In the center, you are gonna have a residential four burner stove with a large oven underneath. Right above the stove, this Cedar Creek is gonna have a large stainless steel LG microwave. That's gonna be surrounded by a whole bunch of storage in this Cedar Creek. You're gonna have storage on both sides of the microwave. A 
above the microwave and throughout the countertop space of this entire canvas. Cedar Creek's also gonna have a full pantry right next to our full-size Furion residential fridge. All right, guys, now that we've seen the kitchen, let's go ahead and take a look at the bathroom. Uh, hold up. How do you keep this camper clean? It's actually a really good question. This camper is going to be equipped with the roadback system that has two offerings for keeping it clean. If you're sweeping, it does have an area where you can sweep dirt and grime right into the vacuum and also has a connection for vacuum hose. The bathroom of this Cedar Creek is gonna have a nice open concept with a sliding glass door shower that has plenty of space and a stool to sit down. Counters are gonna be really wide and a nice white color, easy to keep clean. You are gonna have a porcelain toilet that really is gonna resemble your toilet at home. All right, moving on to the bedroom of this Cedar Creek. We are going to have a large king bed that does offer storage underneath and shelves on each side master closet that's going to have plenty of hanging space and washer dryer connection king connect setup already in there all right guys this has been the cedar creek thank you all so much for tagging along let's wait, go wait, ahead wait. is there anything else cool about this camper this cedar creek individually yeah all right y'all gotta keep this in mind y'all ever want to have a late night snack but the wife's not okay with it i got you i'm down here Ooh, that's really cool. All right, you've seen too much. You've seen too much. All right, guys, this has been the Cedar Creek 311 RL. If y'all want to see any other walkthroughs, feel free to comment below. And please like, share, subscribe, and don't forget the fun starts here.